Hey, how y'all doing? I'm doing wonderful. So I got three TV shows that y'all might want to watch. Two of them, I think that people are really watching them, but they're not talking about it. Like, really? Like, I don't think it's getting a lot of views than it should. Okay, okay. So, the first one is Heather's. A lot of people are upset with this TV show, but I don't give two shits because I love it. Because this Heather's is pretty much today's society of teenagers and children. The reason why I say children because shit six year olds got cell phones but um and I believe that children should watch this TV show because one this TV show is going to based about today's world yes it's taking all the old stuff from Heather's and remix it into today's society and which is a good thing because these children need to learn about social media and about the harms of social media and how to deal with social media and how to deal with high school and how to deal with high school with social media because we can't play off the old Heathers because that was back then and what was going on in that society back then this Heathers is revamping that and put it in today's society so people need to shut the fuck up and just like the damn TV show. It's good. And yes, they have a chunky girl playing Heather. So what, y'all saying that big girls can't act either? Which I'm kind of glad that they have a chunky, thick girl because that's a huge ass problem in today's society. Everybody has to be slim. Everybody has to be thin. And today's society is trying to fight that old stereotype and say thick is good thick and healthy is good I don't have to be slim all my fucking life yes I have curves yes I have an eyes yes I have boobs yes I'm thick but I'm actually healthy and you're not gonna try to bully me to be a toothpick cause all toothpicks ain't fucking healthy so Fuck y'all if y'all mad about Heather being thick. Alright? So. <laughs> Another TV show I want to talk about is American Crime Story, Jeannie Versace. His sister said it's not Versace. It's Versace. Okay? So, don't get mad at me. I'm going based off what his sister said. <sighs> And I believe it shouldn't have had it been called American Crime Story of Gina Versace because really, it mainly is about Andrew Cohen, his murderer. It should have been called American Crime Story Andrew Cohen. Okay? <laughs> and Andrew is fucking psycho. He is so fucking delusional. He'll make you think that he got all this shit, but really, this motherfucker is crazy, and he ain't got a damn dime. He steals shit, okay? And I believe that he cooked, killed his sugar daddy, because now the episodes is getting into his sugar daddy. I call him sugar daddy, because motherfucker, you just fucking him giving money. That wasn't no damn relationship. And David and Jeff. What led to they murders? which end up leading into Jenny Versace's murder also. And this motherfucker is batshit crazy. Batshit crazy. So if y'all want to see what led up to Jenny Versace murder, watch American Crime Story and Jenny Versace, which, a.k.a. American Crime Story and Andrew Cohen. Okay. That, that show will have you like, what the fuck? Bitch, what? Really? This was going on in your mind. And also, it tells backstories about their life also. I did not know Gina Versace had HIV. I was young back then. I wasn't into the whole entire damn thing. I did not know. And he was kind of scared to come out about it. And to come out being fully gay. And that he had a boyfriend slash husband. I say husband because, honey, they were together for years. And he was a bona fide freak, honey. <laughs> he 
he was a bona fide freak. Um, not freak like you, like freak, freak, like really. They would give me. <sighs> anyway, um, the third TV series that I had watched and that pissed me the fuck off was Waco. I know I kept talking about Waco, y'all, but I love that TV show, and it really gave me in emphasis about the true story because I didn't believe shit that the police and the government was saying about David Koresh. I was not fucking believing it. I'm like, these people shot you first? No, they did not shoot first. No, 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 no. And after looking at the videos and the pictures and everything else and listening to uh, the branch of David's um, people, yeah, David Koresh was that shit crazy also he believed that he was the prophet uh, he believed that he was the chosen one and the main one to give the um, the message of the seven seals which they should have just let him fucking do it like really oh Jesus that's all the motherfucker wanted to do and I was so sad at the end that him and Steve as much as Steve hated him at the same time and as much as David Koresh hated Steve at the same time you can see that brother, brotherly bond between them both and that they really actually loved each other as brothers and that they both took their own lives in the same statue in the same um, room That part was sad. And that all those women... And some... Okay, let's get to the beginning. One, yes, David was wrong for having those um, guns without being permanently licensed. Bro, you were wrong. But... Look at how many children have these automatic weapons and going around shooting people. As long as these people didn't go around shooting every damn body, she let them fuck alone. But um, and yes, David was ultimately wrong for marrying these young ass women, honey. That's pedophile shit. You should have been charged with that instead. Okay, but hey, it is what it is. Um, some other people do it too, and some other countries do it too but who am I to judge and why I say other people I'm not going to say who they are but I seen it first hand while driving this truck and I was like uh how old is she again mm, okay. that's your business you gotta answer to God I can't answer them for you um so But if these people wanted to be in this so-called cult, you should have just let them fuck alone. Let them be in it. They wasn't harming nobody. Yeah, he was kind of getting on people's nerves, spreading the word around, and all that other bullshit. And his band was pretty nice. I listened to a couple of it. Um, Man, if the people want us to follow, let them follow. It's none of your fucking business. This is America, right? Land of the free, right? Well, not so free. You still can't do what the fuck you want to do. You can't believe in what you wanted to believe in back then. Pretty much that's what the hell they were saying. But what pissed me off was that the ATF tried to fucking lie. No motherfuckers... One of your daggone members got trigger happy and started shooting. So in defense, those people started shooting also. And all of a sudden, y'all got a whole bloodbath. And y'all running inside there. Knowing that there's children and the women inside there. Y'all don't know who the fuck y'all shooting. Y'all don't know where the hell those children and women at. And all of a sudden, one person got trigger happy. All of a sudden, all y'all got trigger happy. And y'all got mad because that got trigger happy too. Like, motherfucker, wait a minute. I'm trying to defend my damn wives and children. 
and a man that's in here. They did not shoot first. So don't let the FBI and an AFTF, ATF fucking um, make you believe that David Koresh people had shot first. No, they did not. Even the people in the fucking interview was like, no, we did not shoot first. The ATF shot first. And as you look at the pictures, if a bullet go this way, it's going to cave in, right? The plaster, the plastic or whatever the hell the building was made off of went in. It didn't go out. Majority went in. Because if it went out, it went away that way, inside. But inside, it looked that way. Okay? See how the government tried to cover up their own bullshit knowing that they had done wrong? Y'all did wrong in that one. Because what I heard that David did come out going like this. Like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's talk. Somebody got trigger happy. Started shooting. So he went in inside. And all of a sudden, they ass got trigger happy also. So don't lie. And the way... And then the FBI, that one fucking agent got on my goddamn on nerves. All he wanted to do was kill people. But Gary, the uh, negotiator, was like, wait a minute, y'all going about this the wrong way. And he, they both kept butting heads and fighting. Then you got the main person here. I, I don't know what the fuck to call him. Let's say the main man right here. But like, I, I don't know who the who to believe, who to trust. Yeah. If y'all just would have let Gary do his job instead of this jackass over here, the um, police agent over here, FBI agent over here, getting all dick hard because all he want to do is shoot people. And Gary like, motherfucker, wait a minute. <laughs> and The guy in the middle should have just asked for another chief because he didn't know what the fuck he was doing also. And the way that this shit went down was sad. <laughs> the women trapped inside the um, little freezer thing. They died because y'all put in illegal gas tanks. I mean, illegal gas. Knowing that it would catch on fire from the previous times y'all have used this illegal gas on, these, on other people. And I was saying, it sparks on fire, killing people. Yeah, they may be criminals, but still they're human. We all criminals. We all stole. We all did shit that, that could put us in jail. We all done it. We all ain't saints. We all sinners. We still sin. Even pastors do. Even a chosen one. But the way that the FBI and the ATF went about it was the wrong way. Was David Koresh the right person? Uh, was the most sanctified person? No. He had his demons. Should he be put in jail? Yeah, for um being a pedophile. But the way they went about it was ultimately wrong. And the way that the government trying to hide their hand is wrong. And they mad about this day on TV show. Cause they're making because the truth is coming out. If people want to be in the cult, let them. Later on, they will see that this is wrong. This is wrong. Just let people be who they are. Seriously. But all those people that died in that fire and that, and that gas. And at the end, the FBI agent and the boss noticed they did wrong. That they 
shouldn't have done that. That they made a huge, huge mistake of putting that daggone gas in there. And that Gary was right. They should have just let him finish. Waco will open your eyes to the truth. I'm not on David's side all the way, but the way it went about it, you have no choice to be on his side and be like, that was wrong. What the ATF and the FBI did. And also, some parts of the TV show, you want to slap the bullshit out of um, David Crush because you was like, bro, just, just, just give up. Just, oh my God. Has the Lord spoke to you yet? <laughs> bro, because right now you getting on my damn nerves. It's been 50 some odd days and the Lord has spoke. <sighs> David, David, give it up. David, give it up. David, give it up. And y'all may be looking at me crazy, but I like documentaries and criminal shows because I do a lot of research on this stuff and I read a lot on it and I watch all the videos and I try to put my own opinion into it of who was right and who was wrong. I'm not on David's side all the way, but the way that this have went down, I'm on their side. And the way that Waco went, the FBI was wrong. The ATF was totally wrong. So, those are three shows you should watch. Next week, I will come out with more shows because I am watching more TV shows. Because I get to watch it on my TV. Because I get the mirror. But, um, I'll see y'all later. Bye.